that percentage not because I want to eat like the number as much as like for, for something that I'm working on for like a TikTok project that just needs me to be like really lean so I, I can do I have found that when I'm like that lean I can I can physically perform certain things better especially when it comes to like this is like I'm it's, it's for a dance thing just be completely transparent and like the leaner I get and the more that I work on my conditioning like um one of my favorite forms of cardio is to do either boxing or sprinting and just focus on that conditioning so that like the level of tenacity and the level of athleticism I can do when I dance just the bar gets raised a lot higher and it affords me the ability to do things that I can't do otherwise so that's really what I'm training for. And I think if you are training, it definitely helps to train with a purpose. I think setting your goal on on something numeric, it becomes very difficult. Because that number starts to define you. Like if you're like, oh, I really want to weigh like 110 pounds. Like you're, you're going to define your worth by how close or how far you are to that number. And inherently... I think that will create a very, a very toxic relationship with that number, with that weight, with your body, and that, oops, and that's, that's not ideal. It, it truly isn't. But, um, but if you have a goal like I, I want to look a certain way because it would afford me the ability to. to something like the easiest example is like for me like it's always it's always like the thing i started seeing success when i focused it on goals outside of it like i want to to be a better dancer i want to stay healthy so that i you know don't get like long-term sicknesses like my parents deal with like i don't want to like have to suffer like i watch them like suffer like i i don't want to deal with that so like i want to fight against that and like they weren't actively into fitness like growing up and so I was like maybe any kind of precautions I can take will help minimize or hopefully minimize that from happening and then also at the same time make me a really good dancer and I know I can use my dancing to entertain or even inspire others so I think having that ulterior purpose helps make it easier especially on those days where you just don't feel like doing it and this doesn't just apply to like weight or body goals this, this applies to any any kind of goal like really understanding the why and i can touch on this like motivation like the psychology i i have when this channel was really really young in like april but it's been a while but there, there was a really interesting thing um i i think defining your why for anything is is important it's really really important that you do that there was this one story that i like to tell it's it's my friend i was telling him ideas that i had for instagram because you know like i i do photography and i was trying to come up with all, all these ideas for, for shoots i was doing and i kept telling him an idea and he was like oh why do you want to do that and then i would try to tell him that and then he would be like why and he kept on asking why and he kept on asking why 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 are you doing this why are you doing this why are you doing that why are you doing that he kept on asking me why like he was some kind of child and i was not a fan of that at all i got really annoyed and he was like i get it it's frustrating that i'm asking you why but what what he made me realize is that for every decision we make there's a there's a core innate reason for why why we do something there's there's some deep like primitive motivation there so identifying what that why is and why you want to do anything will help you come to terms with what that is but also help rationalize your pathway to getting to that if that's something that you actually deem worthy of your time and effort so that's something to this video has been all over the place and if 